Hi everyone, again it's me your math teacher Jell. For today's video, I will show you how to find the variance and the standard deviation of a discrete random variable. So for variance, meron tayong formula dito na var of x is equal to summation of um, quality x minus mean squared times the probability of x. Or, um, pwedeng gamitin yung ganitong uh, format or symbol. So we have sigma square is equal to Summation of quality x minus um, population mean squared times the probability of x. So guys, walang problema kung ito yung gagamitin natin or itong formula. So dito lang yung nagkaiba. So where x, yung x natin dito guys, ay tinatawag nating outcome. And then yung population mean ay itong symbol na to. And then we have the p of x or the probability of the outcome of the discrete random variable. And para masolve naman natin yung standard deviation, um, kukunin muna natin si variance, yung summation nun, and um, square root lang natin yon, Okay? So, we have the sigma is equal to square root of the summation of quality x minus uh, mean square times the probability of x. Okay, so let's have an example. Find the variance and the standard deviation of a discrete random variable x with the following probability distribution. So, kung mapapansin natin guys, so we have 6 uh, values of x, which is 1 up to 6. Okay? And with its corresponding probability. Okay? So, for 1, we have 0 0.15, 2, 0 0.25, 4, 3, 0 0.30, 4, 4. We have 0 0.15, 5, we have 0 0.10. And uh, last, 6, we have 0 0.05. Okay? Okay? So, para masolve natin to guys, um, extend natin yung column. Ang unang gagawin natin dito ay, i-multiply natin si x times p of x. Okay? So, multiply lang yan guys. So, x times p of x. Ibig sabihin, kapag ka magkadikit to guys, the operation to be used is multiplication. Very good. Okay. So, i-extend ko muna. And... Using our calculator, I suggest gamit tayo ng scientific calculator guys. Kasi mag uh, kukuha tayo ng square root, no? Okay, so 1 times 0 0.15, the answer is 0 0.15. Yan. And then, 2 times 0 0.25, so the answer is 0 0.5, right? Or 0 0.50. And then, 3 times 0 0.30, the answer is 0 0.5. 90, right? 4 times 0 0.15, the answer is 0 0.60. Okay. And 5 times 0 0.10, the answer is 0 0.50. And, of course, 6 times 0 0.05, the answer is uh, 0 0.30. Okay. The next thing to do, guys, um, kukunin natin yung uh, expected value. Yung expected value, same lang sa a population mean. Okay, so we're in. So we have uh, I think formula natin. Yan. Is equal to summation of mag bracket tayo x times p of x. Okay. So meaning ito guys, uh, itong column na to, i-add lang natin sila. Okay, so I uh, use our calculator. So the answer is 2.95. Nakuha ba guys? Okay. And then, so ito na yung uh, mean natin. Okay, kasi sa formula, we have uh, x minus mean square. So, compute mo na natin si mean. So, ito siya guys. Ito yung value niya. And then later, um, isa-isa natin to para masolve natin yung variance and standard deviation. Okay, mag-add tayo ng next column. Okay. So, we have x minus mean, or the population mean, okay? So, ganun lang kasimple guys, okay malilito. Okay, so next, so x minus mean. Of course, um, 
Ito yun. Punta kayo sa first column guys. So, x. So, 1 minus yung min natin. Which is 2.25. So, meaning, lahat ay isusubtract kay 2.25. Very good. Okay? So, wag malilito guys. So, 1 minus 2.95. The answer is negative 1.95. Okay. And then, after that, so, continue the process. So, 2 minus 2.95. So, we have negative 0 0.95. So, 3 minus 2.95. The answer is 0 0.05. And then, so, 4 minus 2.95. So, 1.05. And then, 5 minus 2.95. So, we have 2.95. 0, 5. Nasundan ba ako guys? And then, last, 6 minus 2.25. So, we have 3.05. Okay. So, this time guys, uh, kung mapapansin natin sa formula natin, we need to square, right? So, ibig sabihin, x minus min, yan, i-square natin to. Okay? So, i-extend ko ulit. So, we have x, quality, x minus min I square natin to guys okay ibig sabihin ito so mag add tayo ng column dyan so guys kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko pwede kang uh, mag subscribe okay so this time, i-square lang natin to yung um, difference natin dito. Okay? So, negative 1.95 times negative 1.95 kasi square natin to. Okay? Kung ano yung nandito, square lang natin parehas yan. So, walang problema kung magkakaroon tayo dito ng, ng negative. Kasi later on, i-square naman natin. So, it will give us a positive answer pa rin. Right? So, negative 1.95 square. So, the answer is 3.8025. Okay? So, sulat natin lahat yon, And then, negative 0 0.95 squared. The answer is 0 0.9025. Right? And then, 0 0.05 squared. So, this is about 0 0.0025. And, 1.05 squared. So, the answer is 1.1025. And, if we have 2.05, square natin yan. So, we come up with 4.2025. And, 3.05 square natin yan. So, it will give us 9.3025. Okay? So, this time, hindi pa tayo tapos. Kasi, we need to... Um, multiply, kasi maroon pa tayo dito guys yan, multiply natin yung p of x, no? okay, tapos, eto I mean uh, kukupitin natin yung p of x etong p of x tapos, eto okay, so x minus mu or population mean squared okay so, last na tayo, last column so, we have x minus mean squared times the probability of x. Ayan. So guys, mas maganda kung naka-table uh, talaga ito sa pagkocompute para hindi tayo marilito. Okay. So this time, since magkadikit yan, so the operation to be used is multiplication, right? So, pag the times natin to, so meaning, eto, 3.8025, so which is eto yun, times the probability of x, the p of x, which is eto, guys. So, 3.8025, multiply natin by 0 0.15, it will give us, okay, so 0. 
So guys, I suggest isulat natin lahat ng uh, values or at least 4 to 6 na. 4, 5, or 6 values. Okay? So, ito, multiply natin. Times 0 0.25. So, it will give us 0 0.225625. Okay? Nasundan ba ako, guys? So, gumagamit ako ng scientific calculator. And then, ito, multiply natin dito by 0 0.30. So, the answer is 0 0.00075. 50. Okay? And then 1.1025 times 0 0.15. So the answer is 0 0.165375. Okay? So 4.2025 times 0 0.10. So the answer is 0 0.420. 250. Nasundan ba ako guys? And then, 9.3025 times 0 0.05 I mean, yeah, 0 0.05 The answer is 0 0.465125 Okay? So guys, dito Okay, kung mapapansin natin uh, Meron tayong summation dito Ibig sabihin, ito total natin to guys Okay? So get the summation So, kunin natin yung sum nitong lahat sa last column natin. So, summation of ayan, um, quality x minus mean squared times the probability of x. Okay. So, kapag pinag-add natin to lahat guys, so it will give us 1.8475 Okay So dito guys, uh, around natin yung answer natin Or Approximately The answer is 1.85 Pag ni-round off natin yan guys Okay So it's not yet done Okay, ang variance natin since na-compute na natin yun, sa substitute lang natin guys. So, ang variance natin ay, ito yung formula natin doon. Ito guys, pwedeng ito or ito. So, quality x minus mean squared times the probability of x. So, ang value nito guys ay 1.85. Okay? And then, para masolve naman natin si standard deviation, yan yung square root ng variance natin. Okay? So, meaning, uh, hindi natin masasolve si standard deviation hanggat di na kukuha yung value ng variance natin. Okay? So, ang formula natin doon ay sigma is equal to square root of ayan, the summation of Bracket. Okay, the quality of x minus mean square times the probability of x. Ayan. So, dito guys. Okay, substitute natin yan. Either. Okay. So, 1.8475. five. So, ito guys, kapag um, gumamit tayo ng scientific calculator, it will give us 1.359227 or approximately, it will become 1.36. So, that is the SD or standard deviation. Okay, so ganun lang kasimple. So, this is the end of our video. I hope na meron kayong natutunan. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye!